Hey, 大家好，我是木木，欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文。Hey guys, welcome back to another morning English podcast. I'm Day. So whether you are a student, a worker, or just a normal person, you know, having friends, we all are worried about being late. 没错 ，So in our podcast today, we are talking about dealing with being late. 就是在迟到之后，我们应该怎么样表达歉意呢？今天就会教大家五种方式。First things first, let us talk about the situation of being late. Let us say you were supposed to be at class at 8 a.m., but you arrive at 8:15. This means you are late. 没错 Then what would be the appropriate response on being late? 就是我们迟到了应该怎么样回答呢？怎么样说呢 ？First things first. I love saying this word. I am sorry. This the first thing you must do is apologize.、Uh, don't just walk in in and being so confident and be like, oh, it's not it's not my fault that I'm late. Oh oh no, you have to apologize and be like, hey, I'm sorry. 没错 ，there are several ways you can do this. If you thought you were going to arrive on time, but then you got delayed for a couple of minutes, you need to apologize when you arrive. But if you had a meeting or event that didn't start yet, but you know you're going to be late, it is polite to call and tell people that you're not going to be able to make it or you're going to be late. 没错，首先呢，我们需要给对方一个解释，一个道歉啊。比如说 ，I am sorry, but I'm going to be late. 对不起啊，不好意思，我可能要迟到了。And for the second situation, if you, you had a meeting, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make our 9 a.m. meeting. 对，没错，就是不好意思，九点钟的会议呢，我可能到不了了。先告诉对方一个情况，然后道歉。Okay, the second one, something has come up. Now, after apologizing, you must explain why you were late. You don't have to give people a detailed explanation. 就是不用给一个非常详细的解释，但是要告诉对方你为什么会迟到。Mm-hmm. For example, something came up. I had to go to the hospital. 对，没错，就是哎呀，出了点事儿啊，我必须，我刚刚去了趟医院啊，这是一个 past tense. I had、mm-hmm. to go to the hospital. Or something has come up. I'm running late. 对，没错，也是表示出了点事儿呢，所以我来晚了。那这个表达大家可以记一下，就是 something has come up， 就是突然出了点事儿，我现在必须要去解决。Or something came up， both are okay、嗯。Now， if you had said you apologize and you've said something came up， this is the third thing you have to say、嗯。I will be there in blah blah blah、嗯。After you have said that you are running late， you know， you need to tell the person exactly when you're coming。Like oh, I am running late, but I'll be there in twenty minutes. I'll I'm running late, but I'll be there at six p.m. That kind of stuff. 没错，就是第三点啊，我们就是要告诉对方你大概会迟到多久啊，并且什么时候可以到。最好呢，给对方一个确切的时间。比如说刚刚在造的这些句子，就是 I'm going to be about twenty minutes late， 就是我可能会迟到那么二十分钟 ，or thirty minutes， or twenty minutes， or forty minutes， whatever， or one hour， <laughs> or one hour， or a whole day。行 ，OK， moving on。OK， the。Fourth one,、mm-hmm. 第四种呢，就是 if you are going to be late and you know that you will not be able to make it、mm-hmm. to the meeting, or seeing your friend, you might need to reschedule. 就是可能需要重新再约一下时间。那这个时候呢，我们可以用到的句型就是 Would it be possible to? So, 比如说 Would it be possible if I take a rain check? 就是你说，哎，我们再约怎么样呢？比如说，因为今天我没有时间了。Or would it be possible to reschedule to Tuesday? Reschedule 表示我们再约一个时间，要不我们改到周二再约。就是 Would it be possible to reschedule to Tuesday? All right. After you apologized, after you said, "Oh, something came up," after you said, "I'll be there," and moving on, the, the last thing you have to be, you have to say is, "Thank you so much for waiting." A lot of people don't do this. I've I've noticed this, but if you didn't reschedule and someone has been waiting for you to arrive, it is polite to thank them for waiting. 没错，第五个我们需要告诉大家的就是，你要给对方一个感谢，说谢谢你今天等我啊，对不起我迟到了。Thank you so much for waiting. I'm so sorry for the delay. 就是谢谢你等我，真的对不起，我今天迟到了。So today we've talked about like five. 
ways to respond to your friend if you're being late. Yes. Not only friend. Yeah, this, this, these stuff go in sequence. So first you apologize, and then you tell them something came up, and then you, you say, oh, I'll be there for 20 minutes, 30 seconds, whatever. And then you would be like, hey, would it be possible to, if you guys want to reschedule? And the last thing, you have to thank them. 没错，那希望今天这期节目之后呢，大家都知道如何在你迟到之后来说道歉的话，以及如何来礼貌的告诉对方你迟到了。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。那 so much for today's podcast。我是 Dave， 我是木木，我们下期见了，拜拜。